Hello everyone! My name is Courtney Garrison and welcome back to my channel. Uh, thank you guys so much. If anybody ends up watching this, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I haven't been back on here for a while. A lot of personal stuff has been going on. It's been super duper crazy. My whole life has been turned upside down, but that's not what we're here to talk about. Um, I am going to be trying to jump back into Project Canning because your girl's makeup collection's a hot mess again. So, um, like what I've tried to do before, which I'm hoping I'll do a little bit better job at it this time because things are finally settling down. Um, but I'm hoping that being able to do a video, um, and kind of interact with the community that's doing project panning and stuff like that will kind of help keep me accountable for what needs to happen. So, um, yeah, let's just go ahead and jump on into it. Hopefully this isn't absolutely horrible quality or audio. It's going to probably be a little patchy just because I'm filming this on my iPhone. My camera is up there, but I don't have all of my stuff to set up. Um, and also if you guys aren't super even, I am so sorry. I'm just working with what I have. Um, with that being said, I am again wanting to do this project pan, uh, pan and make videos of it to try to hold myself accountable. Um, I'm not going to do anything fancy with a project pan. Um, I'm going to basically work on it till the end of the year. Um, and I'm putting myself on a, I won't say no buy. I don't want to do that because I feel like if I sit there and say no buy, my brain's going to be like, <laughs> well, don't tell me what to do. And I, then I'll have an argument with myself and I'll end up buying more than what I actually tended to do. So we're going to do a low buy for everything because I got enough of everything. And when I mean enough of everything, I mean everything. So we're going to do a low buy of everything. Um, I've already donated a crap ton of the makeup that I have um, to some family and friends. Um, so I was able to get some of that, but I'm still not happy with where my collection's at. Um, so that's why I wanted to do this project pan. Basically, we're just going to do a full face of makeup and we're going to see how much or how much product we can get through or how much use we can get out of the products that I have um, for the next six months. Because I want to kind of see how much I can put towards that within the in, till the end of this year. So um, I'm not going to sit there and be super harsh on myself if I want to try to use some of my other makeup because I do still want to get some use out of the other makeup that I have. But we are going to try to focus on stuff that needs to get out of my collection, whether or not it's getting older, stuff that I haven't used in a while or haven't really used to see how I like it, whether or not I need to get rid of it or give it away, whatever I need to do with that. Um, and just kind of re-explore and hopefully ignite my love for my makeup that I have um, again. So without further ado, let's just kind of jump on into it. We'll start with obviously base and then work our way up. I've got a lot of travel size um, items, so I want to start trying to get rid of some of those. So this is the professional. Um, not my super favorite. Um, obviously, it's kind of been like a cult classic on YouTube and all that stuff for a really long time. It's not the worst, but anything silicone-y does kind of tend to make my makeup move, and I've got very oily skin, so it tends to move in my T-zone very easily anyways, and I don't need any help with that. So I do want to try to get that out of my um, collection. I do also have this travel size of the hangover which I think I got it in a bundle or whatever I actually have the full size of this I do really really enjoy this um especially because I've been using a retinol recently because I've been breaking out stress does it to you um so this has kind of helped just moisturize my skin and everything like that um I mean it does have coconut water in it so depending on your skin and stuff like that that can cause um, some breaking out um, but this doesn't tend to break me out any more than what I've had breakouts for and I've been using it since my skin started clearing up and it's not been causing any of that so I want to get through that next foundation 
As you can tell, I've used quite a bit of this bad boy. This is one of my favorite foundations actually from the drugstore, but I, um, this kind of was put on the back burner because I had gotten so many other new foundations that I wanted to try. So this is just something that I want to really get all of the use out of that I can. So I want to finish it up. Um, I've also got the concealer, um, the Candid Concealer. Works really well too. Doesn't give me as much coverage as maybe some of my other concealers, but it's lightweight. It blends in really, really nicely. It does dry down pretty quickly, so just kind of be careful with that. Okay, powders. I also have some small, like little travel size powders. So I do have the um, KVD um, Locket um, setting powder in translucent, so teeny tiny. Um, I use quite a bit of powders just because I'm very, very oily. So it shouldn't be too hard to get through that. I do also have the Laura Mercier uh, translucent, which I love this powder and I wouldn't just necessarily like be going through it to try to get rid of it. Um, but it's got crack inside and it keeps like leaking. So I want to go ahead and get through that. Um, so it's not wasted. So I'm going to go get through this first and then I'll pour this into the other one. Um, so it won't be in a damaged container. Bronzer. I can't live without bronzer. Uh, bronzer is probably my favorite makeup product, um, but I don't tend to get a lot of, a whole lot of new bronzers. I really kind of tend to stick to ones that I've used before and love. Um, the Butter um, Bronzer from Physician Formula um, is one that I absolutely love and I've purchased um, twice now. Um, I've also got it in some of their face palettes. So I just, I don't want duplicates of this in my collection. And as you can tell, I've already hit pan. So I would really like to just pretty much use this up. I use quite a bit of bronzer. Um, I don't know if you could tell. Um, but yeah, um, it smells so delicious. There's a reason why this is a cult classic. So the other one that I have, which I have in my Z palette, is... Okay, that's not going to come out, so we're just going to do it right here. So this is this blush. Um, this is actually a flower, a flower, a flower beauty, flower beauty. This is flower beauty. I can't tell you what color blush it is. It's obviously one of the peachy ones. Um, I have been working on this for years, for a couple of years, and then I just stopped using it because I was tired of trying to use it. Well, I'm ready to get back into it. It's already got a dip and stuff like that. I'll try to get it out. Um, so you guys can see it a little bit closer, but it's really stuck. So, oh, here we go. So, um, it used to have, sorry, my son's trying to go to sleep and he's kind of talking to himself. So it's kind of already got a dent in, um, it did have a flower, um, indention in it. And I pretty much wear, I've worn all of that off. So that's good. Um, I've been kind of going back and forth on which highlighter I should use. I do have this one, which I'll probably be using on and off because I've had this for a really long time. I've also had to repress it. So because it broke on me, but I think the one that I'm going to focus on mostly, um, is the flower petal, um, from oh, wet and wild. Um, this has actually got an indention in itself as well. Again, I just want to hit pan on this at least. By the end of the year, I'm not going to have my hopes up for using all of the highlighter because that's absolutely crazy. And as much as I love highlighter, I'm not going to be using all of the highlighter. So there's that. Now let's go on to eyeshadows. So, um, there are, I've got a crap ton of palettes. I, eyeshadows are like my kryptonite, but this is one that I had not really used. And I actually love Juvia's Place. Um, they have great shadows um, and they're relatively inexpensive and they work really, really well. This is just a, basically, it's kind of a warmer um, colored uh, palette. Um, it's kind of hard to see. Um, it kind of washes out some of the warmth of my um, lights, but uh, it's 
just a plain kind of brown eyeshadow wear every single day type of eyeshadow and I'm not again expecting to hit any pan these do fluff up quite a bit so it wouldn't surprise me if I hit pan a little bit quicker on these versus maybe some of my other harder pressed eyeshadows um but these are just good shadows um I guess the reasons why I wasn't kind of reaching towards them is because I do have a lot of neutral shadows and stuff like that but I kind of got stuck in like just using the ones that I knew that worked well for me instead of trying out new ones and I bought this and then just never used it so um really I'm just kind of expecting to get more use out of this so there's that um so this is an eyeliner by Tarte um it's the tardiest um, eyeliner and it's got a felt tip and a um, a uh, pencil. So I usually almost always just use liquid eyeliners um, and I've actually gotten away from felt tip um, and gone to more brush type uh, eyeliners because I tend to find uh, me having being able to have a little bit more control. This causes this causes a little bit thicker um, uh wings and stuff like that which aren't isn't bad like if that's what you want but um I just tend to like some smaller wings um just because I've kind of got hooded eyes and stuff like that so um it just makes it seem like I didn't just fill my whole eyelid with black um and then of course I do I will try to use kind of the pencil side there's about how much that is and I'll mark all of this stuff down on like a piece of paper and stuff like that and I'll show you the progress but I don't plan on getting too much use out of the pencil side because I don't really use the pencil side a whole lot um so my biggest thing is just kind of using the felt tip a little bit more um it's a little old um it'll probably dry out sooner rather than later but I just want to get a little bit more um use out of that so, um, I do have some mascaras, um, right now I'm using the, uh, Oma, uh, Drama Bomb. This is a fantastic mascara. If you're willing to put a little extra money towards mascaras, I usually don't. I went ahead and tried this. I really like it. I might actually use it more. Um, but I'm going to try to do a better job about making sure like I open it up. I only use it for three months and then I throw it away. Um, because I don't want to increase any risk of like getting irritation in my eyes. Cause I recently just had a lot of issues with dry eyes, um, and kind of just irritation in general. So I kind of want to cut down on that anyway. So I'm not going to include a mascara in my project pan specifically because those things you should be replacing fairly regularly. I am going to go ahead, um, you know, just to kind of spice things up a little bit, I guess. It's not really spicing it up, um, but I do have a couple of like nude eyeliners because I do really like to line my waterline to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. Um, and I've had this for a while. This is uh, Maybelline Infallible. Um, and this, I mean, it works really well. I mean, I like did this little mark on me, like maybe like three hours ago and it's not coming off. So it stays in my waterline fairly well. Um, but it's something again, I just want to get out of my collection. So other thing eye wise is eyebrow. Um, this is the elf Insta instant lift brow pencil. I've actually I've already used one of these up before. Um, and they're pretty fantastic. I actually do quite enjoy the color. Um, this is how much I have on it left. Um, this is not going to take me long to, um, get through. So the next one that I will be using, um, is the winky Lux. Um, universal brow pencil. I got this, I think, either in an Ipsy or a Boxy Charm, but that's how much that has. So, in a month, this should already be up and I should be working on this. So, I'm just going to go ahead and show you both of them just so I can sit there and say I finished up one product. Um, the other thing that I'm going to be using, um, and if you've seen my other project pans, um, you know that I've been working on this one as well. Um, this is a Milani uh, lip liner. I don't know the full name because I've twisted it off. So um, this is basically how much is left. I've been working on this for the last two years, I think, year and a half. Um, this one's just one of their zero three nude liners. 
Um, it works pretty well. I mean, it doesn't bleed too badly. Um, it looks really, really good. Um, so that's all I'm really going to say about that one. Um, lip product, because I do want to include a lip product because I'm horrible at continuously using lip products, especially since we started wearing masks just because it gets all, you know, caught up in there. But since, you know, certain things are being lifted, we can't, we don't have to wear our mask in certain areas and stuff like that. I do want to start making sure I start going through my lip products. Um, so one of the ones that I'm going to be using is Feminist by Huda Beauty. And this is a demi, a demi matte cream lipstick. I'm not going to know how much um, I've used out of this um, until I get a weight. So um, we're just going to have to kind of wait and see what <laughs> wait and see um, what happens with that um, and then kind of go from there. So that's what I'm going to be working on for the next six months. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you come back in another month because I am going to be doing things every month. I know some people like to wait for a couple of months just so we can show like really big progress, but really just to make sure I stay on track. I want to do this every month. So we'll know at least I ha I'll have one product done for sure. Um, the others, um, I might have my foundation finish. I don't see that being a problem. Um, but we'll just kind of have to wait and see. So thank you guys so much. I love you. Mwah! And I will see you next time.